Boys, good TK game. Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about Bobo. We all know Bobo currently plays for the University of Oregon and also is a freshman in college. This video, I just want to talk about Bo's biggest college mistake and just explain to you guys what's the actual problem playing at Oregon. So first, if you guys are not informed, when Bo was in high school last year, he was ranked fourth in the ESPN Top 100 and also was listed as the number one big man in the country. Bo is 7'3 with a 7'8 wingspan, which means he has the advantage over a lot of defenders, such as having a link to catch every lob, and Bo can also create his own shots and shoot over any defender. When Bo is on defense, he really is a real defensive threat just because he can block nearly every single shot and he really changes a lot of teams mindsets when they go against him because they know it's not going to be easy scoring on him now that bowl attends university of oregon his team played four games so far and their record is currently three and one after watching these four games i'm really starting to realize that bowl has made a big mistake committing to oregon and i'm not saying oregon is a bad team or anything the ncaa has ranked them number 13 in their program so oregon actually is a good team they also brought in a couple of five-star recruits such as lewis king and bobo himself but when you just watch oregon play and how their offense is set up you can tell that they fail to realize that bowl is their best player on the team and it's really frustrating watching Oregon because the ball could literally be open most of the time and they refuse to pass on the ball. And I just hate it so much because every time Bo gets the ball, he will score. This guy is a natural scorer. He's gifted to score the ball. Bo is 7'3 with a 7'8 wingspan, like I said. Give him the ball and let him do work. I'm not sure if it's a teammate problem or why they refuse to give Bo the ball sometimes or if it's just the coaching plan, but it's ridiculous because Bo, he really can do it all on the court and they know he's their best player. But it just seems like they refuse to give him the ball. And that's what I hate about Oregon. Bo currently averaged 18 points and 10 rebounds. Their last game against Syracuse, he had 26 points and 9 rebounds. When you watch that whole game against Syracuse, they barely gave him the ball. But he still managed to score 26 points because Bo, he would get his points either way. If you miss a shot, he would get that rebound and put it up. He's going to score. When Oregon played against Iowa and lost, Bo only had 14 points because they barely gave him the ball. I guarantee you guys, if they would have gave Bo the ball more, they probably would have won that game, but his teammates was being very selfish and just wouldn't let him do his thing on the court. I understand it's the beginning of the season and Oregon only played four games so far, so they just probably trying to get used to their team and just get everything settled. But if they keep treating Bo the way they're treating him, Bo has made a real big mistake committing to Oregon. At the end of the day, I'm just giving you guys my opinion on what I see. Bo is still going to be a top five pick in the 2019 NBA draft. I don't care what anybody say. He's a real dominant big man. Probably the best big man in the NCAA right now. But I just wanted to explain to you guys what's the actual problem of Oregon not taking advantage of Bobo's skill set. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press the notification button to get game. We out.